Example 128. In previous tests, baseballs were dropped 24 feet onto a concrete surface, and they bounced an average of 92.84 inches. In a test of a sample of 28 new balls, the bounce heights had a mean of 92.67 inches and a standard deviation of 1.79 inches. Use a 5% level of significance to test the claim that the new balls have a mean bounce height different from 92.84. So you can see the images I have down here below, and they're basically of uh, Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire. And the argument here is that maybe the reason why they hit so many home runs that uh, period when they were competing against each other is because of the fact that the baseballs uh, bounced better than the old ones. That was one possible explanation. Of course, the other possible explanation was performance enhancing steroids or other drugs. So. Um, the people who thought it might be the baseballs ran this test. So let's do it and see what um, turns out to be the case here. The claim in the problem that they ask us to test is given here. It says, use a 5% level of significance to test the claim that the new balls have a mean bounce height that's different from, right? So a mean bounce height that is different from. Now different from means not equal to. 92.84. So different from is just not the same as. So we can't say less, we can't say greater than, right? We just have to say not equal to. Now the null hypothesis and the alternative then in this particular case, because of the not equal to here in the claim, we're going to say it's the same as the alternative hypothesis. And we have 92.84. Now the um, null hypothesis then is going to be the opposite of that, which is going to be, of course, equal to. All right, now from there, what we want to do is to go ahead and get our data from the problem itself right next door. Let's just look at what it says. It says in a sample of 28 new balls, so the N here is 28, the sample mean had a value of 92.67. That's pretty close to the 92.84, and in fact, it's even under, right? The standard deviation here is going to be 1.79 inches, and then lastly, the alpha is given as 5%, that's 0 0.05. So there's our data. Now, once we have our data, we're gonna take it and plug it into our test stat. What kind of test stat will we use? Will we use a Z or a T? Well, because of the small sample size, it looks like we'll use a T, right? The T test stat is X bar minus mu sub zero, sigma, or S, pardon me, over the square root of N, right? So this should be S, not sigma, but um, that's good enough. Okay, so our X bar here is 92.67 minus the value from the null hypothesis, that's 92.84, 92.84. And then we'll divide by the standard deviation S, which is 1.79, and then by the square root of 28. Okay, so let's see what that gives us when we put that into our calculator. So in the top part of it, we'll have 92.67 minus 92.84. We'll close that up. We'll divide by, open parentheses, 1.79 divided by the square root of 28. Close that up and hit enter. And we get a difference here, or um, a test stat, pardon me, of minus 0 0.50. So it's a pretty small, or I should say the absolute value of it is pretty small, it's almost close to zero. And at this point, we would probably say that we will not be able to reject the null hypothesis. To be sure though, we wanna draw the curve and come up with the critical value, correct? So let's do that. So we'll have a t-axis down here centered at zero. And we're gonna look at the HA and say, hey, not equal to means it's gonna be a two-tailed test, right? A two-tailed test. And so our critical values will appear down here. There'll be one that is positive, and of course one that's gonna be negative, right? The one over here will be negative. So whatever we get is negative over here, whatever we get over here is positive. Let's try to figure out the critical value that forms the rejection region. Well, if we go to our table, we're gonna be looking up 0.05, but in two tails. So we're actually gonna be doing T.025. That's half of 5% in each tail, with degrees of freedom for this problem of 27. So let's go to our chart, let's look up 0 0.025 in one tail with 27 degrees of freedom, and let's see what that critical value becomes. Okay, so we're looking up 
0.025 with 27 degrees of freedom, we find the answer to be 2.052. Okay, so we found the value 2.052, 2.052, and negative 2.052. All right, those are our critical values. So remember, if we landed over here, we'll reject the null hypothesis. If we land in here, we do not reject. So looking at where this test stat lands, right, we can see that it actually lands somewhere over here in the white space. So we're going to say do not reject, right? Do not reject the null hypothesis. So do not reject HO. If you do not reject HO, you do not support HA. That's the rule, right? So once we have that identified, the last step is just to say, hey, which was the claim? Was it HO or HA? The claim was HA here, so we're going to say this. The sample data does not support the claim. The sample data does not support the claim. So that is our conclusion. The sample data does not support the claim. So this claim that the baseballs bounce further, it just doesn't seem to be correct. So there must be another explanation for the spree of home runs by these two athletes.